the Cot students and possible interns. My name is Michael Quigley. I am the director of Youthville North Shore. I've been working in Youthville for over 10 years uh, in different capacities as a teacher, a case manager, and now a director. And I would love to invite you to our program to experience what I get to experience every day as a Youthville director. I absolutely love my job. I love the population that I work with. I don't think there's a better group of students uh, in this country that are more hardworking and have full and more potential than a young person in the Youth Build program. Uh, youth Build members are 16 to 24 years old. They're out of school youth, meaning they dropped out, um, and they come to us for workforce development. And we prepare them for the workforce in college. But we also have an educational component that prepares them for the high school credential, which is their high set. And over the last couple of years, Endicott has provided us with an intern to work with our young people in the classroom, uh, typically with their math and their reading to get them prepared for college. I can tell you that my experience in Youth Build has been terrific. I started off in the public schools out of college as a history teacher. In my first year working at Quincy High School, I was in charge of the in-school suspension. And while I was there, um, I would have young people come into a room with no windows. Uh, they were told to be quiet all day because of their behavior or missing school. And what I learned from that experience is that Quincy High School had a school to prison pipeline where you're taking young people with a lot of potential and really not working with them on their problems so they could self-improve and be self-sufficient. There was a young man in that class with me uh, who I had every day when I was in in-school suspension who was brilliant. And I used to have conversations with him about how, you know, he could do anything that he wanted. And unfortunately, there was a lot going on in his life that prevented him from being success successful in school. And he didn't have caring adults to push him in a good direction. So at the end of the year, my contract was up and I was let go. And that young man dropped out of high school at the same time I left Quincy High School. And when I was looking for a job on Craigslist, I saw an opening for youth build as a case manager. Uh, I was 25 hours a week, $14 an hour, huge cut in pay. And I wasn't going to go. And my mm -hmm. girlfriend, who's now my wife, so my girlfriend at the time said, after reading the description, you got to go just check out that interview because I feel like it's speaking to you. And when I went, I showed up at my interview and there was this young man who used to be in in-school suspension with me, waiting for me at Quincy Youth Build. He was wearing a shirt and tie and he said, Hey, Mr. Quigley, I'm here to conduct your job interview today. So he had been out of high school for about four months, joined Youth Build, got his high school diploma, enrolled in Quincy College, and then became the leader of the Youth Build Policy Committee at Quincy Youth Build, where he would conduct interviews for future staff. And at that point, I was sold. And since then, I've moved on to Youth Build North Shore where I'm the director of that program, where we were nationally recognized last year as being the best program in the country. I can tell you working for Alicia, you will learn a lot. She's a tremendous teacher. She's a trendsetter, and this is a fantastic opportunity. I hope many of you apply. We're looking for some good candidates to help us continue to move our program forward. Thank you so much.